Kate, fisher of men. I know he owns a paper Kate, but I buy one every day. It's not that he's rich and successful that you love him, so you say, which makes me feel so much better, Kate, because I'm not any of those. And just like him, that's got nothing to do with my abilities. God, no. As it is, I'm still renting and the place can get a little drab. But at least you know in two decades' time I won't look like his dad. There's a tall poppy syndrome, Kate, that is ready to attack. Come with me and I'll guarantee you won't get any of that flack. There's sneering, two-bit, disaffected, maladjusted types, ready with their oh-so moral high ground jeering hype, condemning you just because you are who you are. I drive around now and rescue you, except the diff's gone on my car. It's not too late to give him the A and come with me to Airport West. We've got a brand new shopping mall with an eight cinema multiplex. There's a half tube skateboard ramp and the water slide's the best. Down Airport East they say we're snubs, but I know you'll be impressed. In Airport East they ain't got much, so all they do is slag. Just like the people whose weddings don't make the women's mags. I'm interested in Wogball, and I really like Akadaka. And I'm better than him because I'm a storeman as well as being a packer. Of course, I'm a bit short of cash right now, and before rumors get about, anyone says I like you for your dough, I'll snap the bastard out. If I marry you, I'll be famous, Kate, but they won't take my privacy. Enough about me. What about you? What do you think of me? I'll just assume it's a done deal then, and get on with the rest, like finalizing photo rights and which tabloid offers the best. Give it a break, Kate. You can't complain if we make a buck. Our marriage could set us up for life with a little bit of luck. I could be rich and famous, Kate. Just you mark my words. Why marry some unknown jerk from the outer suburbs?